Welcome into Drew Steely Diamonds for Thursday, November 7th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below where you agree, where you disagree, what your picks are for tonight, for this weekend, college football, call uh, college basketball, NFL, all is uh, welcome in the comments below, guys. It does help out the algorithm growing the show. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we got two college football games, both nationally televised prime time. So hopefully you got two TVs going. We're heading to Greenville, North Carolina. Up first, AAC conference battle between FAU and ECU. That's East Carolina Pirates hosting the Florida Atlantic Owls. 57 and a hook being the total, minus seven and a hook. That is ECU as the home favorite. FAU comes in two and six on the season, 0 and four in conference place. They've really been up against it. Their defense has given up. Over 120 points the last three games. Uh, for whatever reason, they're just not playing good good football on the defensive side. They're, they rank near the bottom nationally in terms of uh, sacks. So they're not getting uh, pressure on the opposing quarterbacks. And whenever that's the case, you're going to have a tough time in college football stopping the opposing offense. They're up against ECU here. First off, profile-wise, this is FAU on a short week on the road, whereas ECU comes in off of a bye, and they're at home here for this Thursday night game. So uh, schedule makers really help in the ECU side. That's probably a big reason why they're going off as the 7.5-point underdogs, plus the fact they are 4-4 four and four on the season. Um, they actually had a, a, a head coaching change. They got an interim head coach. Uh, Blake Harrell, he's been in. Uh, they have also made a switch at the quarterback position. Uh, their quarterback now, Hauser, he's been a spark offensively. So we've seen the ECU side kind of offensively. I mean, he's had two starts here, and they're averaging over 40 points a game. And they're also going very fast tempo, just about 20 seconds in between snaps. So be careful betting ECU games under the total. Add on top of that, talked about the FAU defense and their struggles. ECU, their weakness is their defense has given up even more points the last three games. 134 points the last three games. And that's against Temple, Army, and Charlotte. Not exactly murderers row offensively. I know Army can, can be a tough offense to stop. But still, man, they're not stopping many people on the defensive side. They've played three straight overs. So is FAU. So the last six games combined between these two teams have, have produced six straight overs. Both rank in the hundreds nationally in scoring defense, giving up over 30 points per game on the season. Guys, this total in the 50s, it, it, it's too low. I, I think this game gets into the 60s and beyond. So we are going FAU, ECU, up and over 57 and a half to lead us off here. Thursday night football. Got one more college game on the slate. And uh, if you're interested in premium picks, check them out. Wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin. Actually got a 5% NFL Thursday nighter going. So uh, it's the top rated play. Um, not going to be breaking that game down in the pick on the show, but uh, we'll give out the uh, the, the two uh, college football games. So uh, yeah, top rated 5%. NFL going Thursday night. We got the Friday card, Saturday, and then Sunday NFL card coming your way. So, uh, yeah, check out a three-day, seven-day, 30-day package, all-inclusive for the rest of the year is discounted as well. You get every play in every sport. So, uh, yeah, guys, 5% going tonight, Thursday night in the NFL. Recap for the show. know you guys are on me uh, sometimes in the comments about the recap. We did go 2-0 and on Tuesday, Maction. 100% sweep of the card, and then one and one on Wednesday. So that brings the recap for the show, Drew's Daily Diamond, going each and every day right on the Wager Talk YouTube channel, giving it all out for free. We're now 54 and 36. That's 60% breaking the games down on the show, plus 14.1 units. So $100 better of $1,400. Uh, if you've been betting every game we've been giving out the last six weeks. So uh, yeah, guys. You can help me out, smash that like button, comment below. It does help out the algorithm looking to grow the show. And the last game for the card, it's also 8 p.m. Eastern. It's on ESPN, Brooks Stadium, Conway, South Carolina. Big time matchup here in the Sun Belt Conference, App State and Coastal Carolina. It's the Mountaineers. Pick them or minus one as I'm doing the show here uh, Wednesday night. It's about uh, 11 p.m. Pacific time. So uh, it looks like App State. 
pick them or minus 162 in the hook being the total. The Mountaineers as the uh, either pick them or short road favorite against the shunt declares of Coastal Carolina. Breaking this one down, I said big time matchup in the Sun Belt. I don't think either one are, are eliminated from the Sun Belt Conference Championship game. But since its inception in this conference, the championship game, either App State or Coastal Carolina is qualified for every Sun Belt Conference Championship game, sometimes playing each other. And the last three meetings between these two teams are all within uh, one score, actually a walk off field goal uh, last year. So might be a tight matchup again. We'll break it down, though. I don't necessarily think so. I like one of these sides and uh, looking at App State first. They won outright last week as the underdog against a pretty good ODU team, Old Dominion there. So uh, they're playing better football. You know, App State is, is, you know, just in Boone, North Carolina, in that region, they had all that flooding, the hurricanes went through, and I think it actually affected them because they they dropped a couple games. But since then, you know, they've been playing playing some better football. Last week was very impressive for me. Uh, impressed me against ODU. They're running the ball a lot better. And in terms of handicap in this game on the field, Coastal Carolina and their rush defense, man, they got some injuries. They aren't stopping anybody. They've let up 34 points or more in five straight games. They just gave up 340 rush yards to Troy last week. That's a two-win Troy team. And they lost outright to Troy by two touchdowns as the favorite. This Coastal Carolina team is a team I'm looking to actually fade here, guys. They're bottom 11 nationally in rush defense. They've lost three straight games. They're one in five against the number their last six games. They've been playing kind of two two quarterbacks. Neither one of them have really impressed me. It's a big drop off from Grayson McCall the last couple of years there for Coastal Carolina. So overall, guys, App State playing better football. I think they run the ball down Coastal Carolina's throat. I think they win this game. I know they're on the road here, pick them price, but still, Mountaineers, App State at the pick them price, like a minus one, two, but might as well get the uh, the best number right now in the overnight market. So it's App State, guys, in recap over Coastal Carolina, and we got FAU and ECU up and over the total for Thursday night college football. Check out the 5% NFL max limit going here Thursday night in the NFL. Drew Martin, experts page, wagertalk.com. That's going to do it for the Thursday show, guys. Let me know in the comments below and uh, smash that like button. We'll be back for four Friday Night Lights matchups in tomorrow's show. So come back and join us. Until then, cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy your Thursday.